guys along the way. The alarm keeps going off on the motor. We've made it two miles, we're already slowing down. What's the problem? Uh, check the water level real quick. Need the motors? Okay. We didn't make it very far. We've made it two miles and the alarm is going off. Welcome to the Catch-22. It's coming out. The alarm is going off. Oh boy, I think the motor's overheating. We just left Alamrod 20 minutes ago. We're heading out there. There's a storm coming. Hopefully we don't hit it on the way. We're 50 miles away from home. We're halfway to the Bahamas bank. We're walking away towards the Berry Islands. We're making wind on leaders. These are gonna go on our 50 and 80 wide rods. And as part of our tackle, getting ready to blue marlin fish. Foster's learning how to make them. Um, kind of teach them along the way. How many, you called blue marlin before? Yeah. How many, four? Yeah. He's called four. I hope after this trip, I hope we catch 10 or 15 on this trip. I'm only going for a couple weeks, but this is my dad's vacation. You know, I hope they catch a bunch of me and after I leave. But we're getting all the tackle ready. We got a fresh line, all the rods up there. We got a pair of 80 wides, a couple of new spinners, got some other conventionals. And when we, we're going to right outside of Chub K today, so when we get there, we'll show you that. Apparently the docks are full. People are traveling, the Bahamas is booming. So we're gonna get close, hopefully go in, get fuel, clear in customs, and then uh, keep working our way down there tomorrow. Just, we're gonna island hop and work away to the Turks and Caicos. We're getting ready. It's got some corrosion on there. We're gonna put that back together. We don't wanna have the same problem before, so just a little bit of lube on it, you know? And that'll help a lot, so. This is gonna be our pitch rod. We're gonna put another 80 on here. It'll be good to go. Locked out. Locked out. Locked out. My dad's got his ear and he's sleeping, so we're gonna be out here for a while. <laughs> My dad's asleep. They locked the door. What are we gonna do? Apparently, you guys uh, upset Richard so much, he's locked you out. He's locked the door, he's in there by himself. But we have a way of getting in. Oscar is going to go over the bow and in the hatch, even though your dad doesn't want us in there. I think he's just asleep and he's snoring. He wanted to sleep, he's got it to himself now. We, we've been banging on the door, we've been shaking it, he's been asleep for 30 minutes. We gotta go inside, Foster's going to the bow hatch, hopefully, he fits. Get up for us. He's asleep. He's going on vacation. I think he just likes to sleep on a boat when he goes these places. And he's been working hard. He's due for a vacation, so we're here to help tag along, help catch some fish. Hello. He's got earplugs in. It's the earplugs. We got all our wind on leaders ready. We got five here. We already put two on, so we made seven already. And we're not really gonna fish today, but starting tomorrow, once we clear in, get our Bahamian fishing license. Probably start fishing a little bit then. And really the third, fourth, fifth day, that's where we're gonna be in some cool spots and hopefully catching some good fish. As you can see, it got pretty windy and rough. It was kind of calm and sunny for a little while. We hit the Bahamas Bank and got choppy. Now we're coming up the Berry Islands up here. It's like three to four foot, some rainstorms. A nice little grass fell underneath that. It's a nice chop. We're gonna pull in Clear Customs, Chop K, that's our first stop. 
tomorrow we're uh, headed further away. We'll show the island here when we pull in a little bit of the marina and all that stuff. Everyone's still getting along so far. We're pulling into Chub K. I actually caught my first blue marlin there with my dad and my uncle. I was 12 years old, I'm 36 now, so 24 years ago out there about two miles away. Got a blue marlin. We're going to try to catch more. This is my dad's vacation. These guys are working. I mean, they're going to have some fun too, but it is a lot of work for them. I promise you, after 30 days, my dad and my uncle, they'll be feeling it. I'm only here for half the trip. But, uh, I mean, check Chub K out. You can see the beach in there. We're coming up here to the main channel. This is our first stop. We're going to clear customs and get ready to go on the adventure. A beautiful place here, though. They redid the resort. I think someone else bought the island here the last few years, put a lot of money into it, and it's turned out really nice and pretty. Nice beach, houses, hotel, swimming pool. They say on that jetty out there at that point, you can catch a big mutton snapper at nighttime. Swim right in there, even a bear snapper. Cool houses here that I did. The hurricane hit this place really hard a couple years ago. Yeah. yeah, hammered it real bad. Very nice yacht over there. Some really big sport fish boats. I'm gonna jump off, right? All right, we're gonna tie this bad boy up. They got floating docks so they move up and down with the tide because their tide's kind of high here. You know, big, big variations. We tied up over there for a minute. He said, come to the fuel dock, we can get fuel. Scott's getting ready to go clear in customs. If y'all thought fuel was expensive at Button Murray's, you ought to come to the Bahamas. I think all the money my dad made on the Button Murray's fuel is going out the window. We're trying to guess how much the fuel is per gallon. Our fuel bag at home at Bud Mary's is really expensive, but I know it's more here. Oh, we're about to find out. Scott, how much is the fuel? No, you're, you're, look, over, look over here to your port side, you'll see me. $5.19 per gallon. That's how much the diesel fuel is. They got us beat, like quite a bit. We're like, we're like the bad news bears over here. Uh, don't the bumbling fools! Please <laughs> do not show this. The economics going on right in front of me. Alright, we're getting ready. Foster, what happened to the preset screw cap? Not sure. Oh boy. Hey, oh boy. Hey, the lasagna's thawing out. I think that's our dinner, though. Gray skies and a lot of boats here. Are you um, it's the end of day one. <laughs> we made it to Chub K. It took three hours to clear in customs and do it online. It took a while. We didn't expect it to be so busy. We couldn't get dinner up there. We ate lasagna. Well, the we think it tried to poison us. <laughs> the, to <laughs> the toilet is clogged. No one's claiming it. Someone and stuck. I have to pee. Someone stuck. <laughs> someone <laughs> stuck toilet paper in the Deep toilet and it's clogged. On this boat. Do we have them on this boat? Sir? We're Joanne afraid to go down there. She's on Foster boat. left. So you Foster's and uncle are here. They brought his ballyhoo to save the day. Are they? We can't find Foster. No He's been idea. gone for four hours. Wait, Hopefully it's here in the morning because we're leaving at 6 a.m. So. The toilet's clogged. <laughs> Tyler, how's it coming? It's, it's I gotta go pee! It's stuck. <laughs> I don't know. Pee in a bucket. Did you do it, Dad? What is this in the floor? Is it Richard? Did Someone it? clogged it. I didn't do it. Someone clogged the toilet. I, I cautioned the individual who did it to be careful when he sat on it to begin with, if you recall. <laughs> <laughs> this is... This is our blankets and our pillows in here. Can't even get these things out of here. Oh, there we go. That's our pillow. I don't know if it's gonna work or not. You gotta open the plastic. Oh, I gotta open it? <laughs> this is a space pillow. We're on the spaceship. They work good. All right, Jamie actually opened his, so we're gonna find out here. Let's see if it actually works. Oh, listen to it. It is. Watch, this is gonna be magic. Ta-da! Oh. Look at that, it is a regular pillow. Mm -hmm. We don't have time to shower or clean. We're going to bed. Hopefully it gets the toilet fixed, because no one can use it. And we well, don't know we who broke to, it. I have to pee! How do you do this? Do we have to go in the engine room to do this? How do we we do need a plunger. This? We don't have a plunger. 
I got a shot there. Oh my god, it smells <laughs> terrible. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is, I'm gonna go sleep upstairs, that smells awful. Who did that? That's a good idea, I'm gonna sleep upstairs. That's there. just the worst Foster? Where's Foster? Foster! He's good, he likes to clean it up. <laughs> <laughs> it chiseled the ice! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's got no ice, man! It chiseled the ice, so here we go. Two of the Bahamian Adventure, leaving Chub K Club right now. Um, it was a long night. The toilet was clogged. Scott, how'd the toilet clog? Who clogged the toilet? We're not sure who clogged the toilet, but it was all calcified. And if you guys wonder, that's why I don't have a toilet on my boat. I don't have to deal with that. A lot of yachts in here, a lot of big boats. Checked into customs and all that, got our fishing licenses. We are good. Uh, it took three hours to do the customs and immigration get our fishing license, maybe three and a half hours. It did take a while. But we're pulling out of Chubb now at 6.45 in the morning. We're gonna see what happens. You know, when you go to Bud Mary's, you don't have to clear it in. Nope. It's windy, it's gonna be a rough ride. We're gonna put a couple lures out and uh, chug for Blue Marlin. Not really an ideal spot, but uh, we'll see what happens and hopefully we'll be by in the Exumas tonight. 20 knots, huh? Prepare for a beating. Here we go. Hank, you know, in the old days, the sailors used the term the wind is honking. You ever hear the wind is honking? Yeah. You know how that started? No. They had a horn on their old sail ship. And when they would stick the horn outside outside the cabin, if it blew the horn, the wind was honking. Did you guys just hear that? Scott just taught us something. The wind is honking. Um, my dad woke up. Hey, my dad says he doesn't sleep at night. We found out why, because he slept 10 hours yesterday on the boat coming here. So he got up at like 4 a.m. and woke us all up with a flashlight. He tells me I only sleep two hours a night. They were shining a flashlight to see if anyone was up. And of course, we all got up at 4.30, so. We're like 30 miles across to hit the next part of the Bahamas Bank. And we're going through Nassau. Through Nassau. We'll see what that looks like. We're not gonna stop. But here we go. Sun's coming up. Time to get moving. We're putting a couple of lures out. We're gonna go about 40 miles to Nassau. We're gonna cut to there. Go to Exumas now, we're going past Highborn K, we're in Highborn Cut, about to head out in Exuma Sound. We're gonna start fishing now. There's a hurricane not too far away, I guess. We're on the outskirts of it. It looks like it's gonna pass more towards Cuba. We gotta keep an eye on it though. 
We're not sure where we're going after this. Maybe Stan OK, maybe Cat Island. But we're going to start fishing now. Put the lures out, put some value out, and start trolling here in the next half hour. Super clear water here in the Exuma. Some of the freest water in the world, no doubt about it. Gorgeous. Lower the rigor, Foster. Time to get ready. We're gonna have some big lures out there. And that teaser, hopefully it'll track to Blue Marlin. We're just gonna fish a half day today. We're working our way further down, further east. But that'll, no hooking it. Hopefully Blue Marlin will come up grabbing it. Then we're gonna throw him a bait, pitch bait him. Hopefully I'll eat the ballyhoo and throw that to him. Putting out the ballyhoo. Hopefully we get a bite from something. Hopefully Blue Marlin, but you never know. Maybe a big dolphin, a big tuna. We'll find out. We got teasers out here now. We got outriggers going out. The outriggers, they spread the lines apart. Because if you had four or five rods out, they'd all be straight back. We'd have the outriggers. The outriggers keep them up to the side more. So that's our long rigger. We're gonna have some short rigger teasers out. And we got our dredge out, well, our flippy floppy, hoppy floppy, whatever it is out too. And we'll have a pitch rod. If a blue marlin comes up on our teaser, we're gonna have a rod ready to throw a bait with the hook over and try to get him to eat that. And the fishing has actually begun now, I would say. All right, uh, where's the fish bait, guys? If the blue marlin comes up and he's chasing that teaser without a hook in it, that's the hook that we're throwing out there with a ballyhoo and a little chugger head. Here we go. They come quick. You troll for blue marlin, you can troll for days and days waiting for a bite. Just lock it up. When he comes up, you got to get that bait to him quick and hopefully you get a good hook at him and catch him. We'll see what happens. Some big sharks swim through here. Oh, Welcome to Hawk's Nest. We're making progress. Old sailboat over there. Look at the school of sharks there. 
Look at all these sharks. Yeah, take a spinner. They're everywhere. Yeah, take a spinner, start casting, get it on film. They're everywhere. Look at the sharks, holy smokes. You don't want to fall in the water here, folks. The sharks heard the boat coming. That they're trained, they hear the boat coming, they come right up to you. They will bite you. They will bite you. We're gonna need some diesel fuel. How you been? All right. Holy you smokes. Crush the bonefish right up that creek. It opens up into beautiful bonefish flats. We caught them all the way along in here. Hey, Scott. The fuel is a lot more here than it is at home. Six dollars and forty cents a gallon. Oh God! The further away you get from things are going up. Civilization, the higher it gets. We're gonna test out the mini rod, guys. You're hungry? Diego, there he is. Don't fall in. What type of sharks? Oh my God! Look at them all. Do not fall in, Nick. Oh my God! They're everywhere. Pull away! Pull away! Ah! I'm standing down, you guys. The sharks are thick here. Remember Long Island, those things? Ah, I'm tip wrapped, I'm bail wrapped. Oh, oh. oh, oh. Got it. Got it. Get it on the mini! Got it on. Got it on. Oh, it hooked up!